Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on how to concatenate multiple rows of data into just one single value. In this case, I'm going to be using the Power BI desktop instead of the Excel and pretty much we're going to be using Power Query. It's going to be the same process here in Power BI as well as in uh, the Excel version of Power, BI, Power Query. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get the data. It's actually in an Excel file. So I'm just going to click get data from Excel. Uh, your data can be anywhere. It can be on any, any data source, to be honest. Uh, in my case, it's just going to be on this one. I believe it's going to be on music, sales. You're going to be able to download this workbook as well. So uh, just check the link in the description below. You're going to be able to download this and follow along. So sales is the name of the workbook. And then I have this table right here called the sales table. I'm going to click on edit instead of load because I want to do something. So first thing that I noticed is that I have four fields or four columns. The first one is sales order, sales person, country, and amount. What I want to accomplish is basically get every salesperson. So a distinct values for salesperson and then the top three countries for that specific person. But before I do that, I need to actually uh, make some aggregations. I want to get uh, the total numbers for the combination of uh, the salesperson and the country. So we can see what was the actual total amount because right now we actually get it at the sales order level. So I'm going to go ahead and right here on the home tab, I'm going to go on group by. You can actually choose this group by feature from the transform tab. So it's the same icon. And now I'm going to do a group by on the advanced section sales over there by salesperson add grouping by country. There we go. And now all I need to do is just a sum of the amount column, just like that. So I'm going to get three fields. Salesperson is going to be grouped by salesperson and country. And I'm going to get what was the total amount for that combination, just like here. There we go. So now instead of having over 999 rows, as we can see here down below, now we only get 80 rows with three columns. So that's nice. So we have three columns, 80 rows, and this is all uh, basically unique values for the combination of salesperson and country. Now we need to find a way to just summarize by the salesperson column. So we're going to be doing another group by. Now, before I do that, I'm going to do a sorting right here. So sorting, uh, you can do sorting in two different ways and you're just going to delete this one. You can do it just on the sales or you can get really creative and you can go sort ascending and then sort by descending on sales. And you're going to notice that there's a number right next to uh, the actual field name one and then number two, and that is the ordering of the sorting. So I have that is being sorted first by the salesperson. So I see Alberto all the way from one to 10. And then I have sales is the second field that is being sorted. And I see that US is the number one for a voter. Uh, for Bill is Japan. Uh, for Ken is actually Panama. Uh, for Marco is Japan. And so forth and so forth. If I actually go and scroll down, we can see the rest of the salesperson. So now I'm going to do another group by, it's just going to be by the salesperson. And now what I want to do is instead of actually doing any aggregations, I'm going to do an operation called the all rows. I'm just going to name this my table, just like this. And what's this going to give me is the salesperson and then a table as we can see here. Now I'm going to be using one line of code. So I'm going to create a new column. I'm going to go to add column, custom column. 
and this is the line of code. I'm gonna use the table column just like this. And what the what table dot column does is that it basically extracts a column from a table and transforms me transforms that column into a list. So it needs the first parameter to be a table. All of my table values are inside the my table column. And the name of the column that I want to extract is called country. So just like this. So table.column, my table country. There we go. And I get this list. Really nice. So I'm going to remove this one because I really don't need it. And something that actually came with the January version of the Power BI desktop of Power Query for Power BI Desktop, and that is now available in the Excel version of Power Query, is that you can actually either expand to new rows, which is something that we are used to, it just simply expands everything, or now we have the second option that is called the extract values. So you do extract values, you're gonna notice that we have the option to uh, select a delimiter, so I'm gonna use the uh, uh, a comma and then a space and then hit OK as we see here. And now I have basically a list or basically all the, the countries that are basically on the ordering that I uh, use on the sorted rows. So for Alberto is US, Japan, China, uh, sorry, US, China, and Spain. For Bill is Japan, US, Italy. Uh, Ken is Panama, Italy, UK. Uh, Japan, Canada, Australia, and so forth. Now here, here comes the the really uh, advanced part. If if you want to do this, uh, it's completely optional. But let's just say that from example from this list, I can actually just click on this list, and inside of a list, you can have this one, this option that says keep top items. So I just want to keep the top three. And on the formula bar, you're going to notice what is the formula that is being used. So I'm just going to grab it. And I notice what is the, pa the actual parameters that it's using. It's just the list and then how many uh, top rows you want to use. So I'm going to use it against this list that I have here. So another custom column because I only want to have the top three. So that is the list, the number three. And now instead of getting all of the countries, I only get the top three as shown here. And now I can do the same, just extract values. There we go. Go to custom, comma and a space, hit okay. And there you have it. Now you have the top countries as a new, ah, column and it's all just in one single row. You can do this pattern with pretty much anything. Uh, it can be text, it can be numeric, it can be dates. It's completely up to you. You can do anything that you want to be honest. This is just a single pattern that can be used uh, throughout your whole experience with Power Query. And that's it for the video. Thank you.